Welcome to the fourth video in the Ranarec Studio Quick Start series. The first three videos in this series describe how to download and install Ranarec Studio, create a new test solution, and record a test for the Ranarec demo application. In this video, you will get an overview of the actions that were recorded in the previous video. You will also learn about the repository items that were created during recording and how these are linked to the recorded actions. On the left side of the Ranarec Studio user interface, you see the projects view, which is organized in a hierarchy. The top level of the hierarchy is the solution, which contains one project, first test. The project contains one test suite, which has the file extension RxTST. The project also contains a repository with information about user interface elements found in the application under test and the code or recording modules used in the test suite. Below the projects view is the module browser, which contains a single recording. Double click on the recording to open it in the action editor. Below the action editor, you see the repository items for the UI elements that Ranarec Studio identified while the test was recorded. Step one in the recording starts the demo application. Step two is a mouse click that brings the enter your name field into focus. Step three is a key sequence that enters the text Harry into the enter your name field. Step four is a mouse click on the submit button. Step five is a validation of the welcome message. Step six is a mouse click on the exit button to close the demo application. You can use the action editor to manually add new actions, such as a mouse click or a key sequence, edit existing actions, reorder actions, and delete them. Now, let's take a look at the repository items which Ranarec Studio created automatically during the recording session. The name of each item comes from its properties. The Ranarex path uniquely identifies each UI item within the demo application. The Rx button exit item represents the exit button in the application. Click on this item to see the screenshot of it that Ranarex Studio captured during the recording session. The enter your name item represents the enter your name text box. Click on edit in Spy to see the Ranarex path for this item. The button submit username item represents the submit button. The label welcome message item represents the text label for the welcome message. You can edit repository items in several ways. You can manually add new items. You can change the names of existing items to make them more meaningful. and you can use the edit in spy function to change the path to the item. You can also delete repository items that aren't being used in an automated test. In the action table, you see the repository item associated with each recorded action. There is no repository item for the first action that runs the application. The next two actions both reference the enter your name text field. Notice that when you click on an action, the associated repository item is highlighted automatically. Watch the next video in this series to learn how to run an automated test in Ranarec Studio and review the test run report.